All right, hey, Shalom, my cam. <clears throat> First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Padash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simul Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to the Holy Scriptures, we're God chosen people. Shalom to all the brothers out there, pushes knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to the Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one igni called Jesus Christ, whose real name in Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. What you're looking at is a true depiction of the one igni called God, the one igni called Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. And when you call upon the Most High, you must say Yahweh. The Most High and the Son, you must say Yahweh. Ba Hashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means He exists, the existing one. Ba Hashem means in the name. And Yahweh Shai means He delivers. Coming back with um, another beautiful lesson through the Holy Spirit to um, edify the elect and keep pushing this um, righteous vibration out to the elect. Men and women out there start off with 144,000. Because this video I'm about to show you through the Holy Spirit, man, the scriptures are are, are are speaking very loudly. So we're dealing with the prophecy, Romans 11, Romans 11 and I think it's in 1 Kings and the Most High has preserved 7,000 men. That's going to stand up. That's not going to bow down to this system, man, through our different generations. Because this generation of men are fucking effeminate. You, you motherfuckers, a bunch of punk motherfuckers, man. And excuse my language. All right? So the most size uh, is going to make the uh, Israelite man more precious than fine gold on all levels. And a lot of you brothers shouldn't be getting caught up with this whole seven women shall take hold of one man. You Y'all better, better, um, better wait. Because in order to have all these women... You got to have substance. You got to have power, bro. So some of y'all brothers need to stop getting caught up with the seven women shall take and just wait. In order for us to take care of our women, you got to have power. You got to have substance. Okay? You got to have an army. Think about that. So all that is coming real soon. So right now, be patient for you brothers out there. We're going to get the whole planet back and the galaxies, man. Because one, I don't want to gear off topic dealing with um different women. It's not for just sex, man. Help for you to bring forth an enterprise because you're gonna have a lot of substance, a lot of goods, a lot of things to pass down to your to your uh, your offsprings, and you your women are gonna be you know part of the business, part of the enterprise. But anyways, rest in peace. This this video is called Rest in Peace. Yes, Real has man. been the feminization of men. So if you think I think I'm gonna start it over, man. Cause the only real men that is left is the men of the Lord and Lord willing, myself and the rest of you brethren, on down able to maintain unto the end because prophecy is being fulfilled on a high scale, man. In terms of the way hip hop has been bastardized and in terms of the way hip hop has been bastardized and the way it's been uh, turned to push certain agendas, the most obvious one in recent years has been the feminization of men. So if you think back to when I was coming up in the hip hop game in the 90s and just getting into that music and starting to play it on the radio and playing it in clubs, it was very, very rare to find a gay rapper. And I remember in 1999, there was this uh, phenomenon uh, of the gay rapper. There was like this rumor going around the industry that a certain high profile rapper was gay. Because back in the late 90s, that was a major event because hip hop was so kind of macho, you know, masculine that uh, anyone that came out as gay in that industry was ridiculed and was kind of laughed out of the game, rightly or wrongly. I'm not saying that was uh, a correct approach, but look at how things have changed now. 
due to social engineering, due to that slow drip effect of changing people's attitudes, changing people's perceptions. Now, it's no big deal at all to have gay rappers. And actually, you have many prominent hip hop artists who are getting pictured wearing dresses, getting pictured wearing women's clothing. They're, they're very feminine in that they're wearing rainbow colors. They're wearing makeup, eyeshadow, all of this. And nobody thinks this is unusual anymore. Nobody's got any kind of objection to this. And it just speaks to how social engineering gets done uh, over the years and people's attitudes get slowly changed. And the feminization of men has become a very serious problem in society now, because if you look at the way this COVID stunt has been pulled off, if the architects of this narrative had tried this one 30 or 40 years ago, I feel that they would have encountered a lot of resistance from armies of real men, militias of masculine men stepping into their true nature and rising up and rebelling against the tyranny that's been dropped on the people, representing the interests of the com community at whole, coming together and uh, providing some pushback to what was being done to us. That would have happened, I feel, in previous generations. But in 2020, 2021, no such resistance. And I can speak to the dynamic here in the UK because I feel a very successful job has been done, probably at the hands of the Tavistock Institute and all these social engineers, of dumbing men down, feminizing them, uh, removing that natural masculine tendency out of them, that self-defense instinct that should be there in authentic men because that's what it means to be a real male and uh, we've seen very little resistance there's been no real pushback uh, and most men have just rolled over and taken what's been dumped on us and the saddest thing that i see in society is when you see uh, big stocky men with shaven heads and you know tattoos everywhere and 30 years ago, they'd have been football thugs kicking off on the, the terraces at football games, you know. But these days, they're wearing a mask, standing behind a bit of tape in the supermarket, doing what they're told by some 16-year-old COVID marshal on the door. Unbelievable. And any kind of fuss whatsoever. So, RIP real men. Is yep. it possible? In it's terms of the way... Lord, man. So that's, that's what we're dealing with today. That's what we're dealing with. This is very serious ordeal, man. So the brethren that you wit... Oh, they're teaching those are the men that the most like got set up on the four corners of the earth. Lord willing to the end. <laughs> Cause look around. The, the, especially you young brothers that's in this thing, man. Some of y'all need to shut the fuck up, man. Cause you could have been that generation out there all messed up. All messed up. You see, <laughs> those are the proteges they put up for you guys. When a lot of us brothers coming up in the 90s and the 80s, you know, like the guy said, it was much more masculine. Much more masculine, man. This proves what? That we are in the end. 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High? Be ye not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate. Nor abuses, nor abuses of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High, man. So let's go into some of these words right here. And that's, that's a lot of you Israelite men out here. You're a bunch of effeminate, abusers yourself, of man, you're, you're, man, you're pieces of shit. Idolaters, worshiping of idols, adulterers, effeminates, did with the word effeminate, soft, soft to touch, metaphorically in a bad sense, effeminate, of a catamite, of a boy kept for homosexual relations with a man, like that, that stupid ass little Nas X little nigga. And I'm gonna get real vulgar on this. If you get mad, I don't care. A male prostitute, that's P. Diddy, all them niggas, man. A bunch of male prostitutes. So that's the vibration they're pushing on you men out here. You young men, all the fucking dreadlocks. I can't stand that shit. Tattoos all over your fucking body. All on the social media is running your fucking mind like a bunch of bitches. It's sickening, man. 
But don't worry, the most side got his real men out here. Lord William York, because we ain't we ain't flashy. Got a bunch of cash and got the fancy houses and cars. Cause it don't mean nothing. We want power, man. We want righteousness throughout the four corners of the earth. And that's what the most side is gonna bring, man. For, for you brothers out there, these women and all that, man, wait, man. And this is a spiritual army. You brothers stay in order. Stay in order or you're going to get cut. You're going to get marked. You're going to get cut, man. For some of you young brothers out there, man. Straight up. Two ways to learn in this thing. Where you at right now or go back in the fucking world. And you're going to learn a harsh way, man. Look, look, what's, right, look what's around you. All right. From then to now, what the hell we have? Bunch of catamites. Bunch of effeminate men. <sighs> And if they're not on TV, they're getting they're getting being controlled by a fucking woman. All right, being ostracized by a five foot bitch. Okay, what the hell are you dealing with? This is our only hope. What the most side is giving us to do, brothers, man. I saw outside of this. Look, that's what you have. The bros that went down to Georgia. I've been there a couple of years ago, and Brother Hussein is way more fagged out now. I was like, oh my goodness. This is the end. It's getting worse and worse, man. Okay? So the most size preserved. You should already know where I'm going. 7,000 men. Well, I'm going to go here real quick. Isaiah chapter 13. All right? Verse 12, it says, I will make a man. Not any ordinary man, any the, the Israelite man, the elect man, more precious than fine gold. And that's coming. The famine, the wars, all the propaganda that's going to be pushed. The, the men of the Lord are going to be the last ones standing throughout the four corners of the earth. Not only looking like a so-called Negro, looking at the other nations, the Northern Kingdom brothers, going to be the last ones standing. We're going to be the precious ones. These little motherfuckers. Y'all niggas ain't pre pieces of shit, man. All right? All on the radio shows. And that's what you people look up to. Charlemagne. All the little... Man, listen. It's ridiculous. It says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Therefore, I will shake the heavens... And the earth shall remove out of her place. Man, that's that's major destruction from the nuclear missiles. That's what's going to cause that. In the wrath of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah of hosts. And in the day of his fierce anger. Major judgment coming out, man. It's going to be spread throughout the full corner. Yesterday I woke up. 13 people got, 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 got man, most I took out like 13 Mexicans, man, in an SUV. All types of car accidents going on, man. All types of judgments going on, you fucking people, man. You see? So you should know where I'm going next. I shall be, hey, most I said I'm going to make a, a um, a, oh, seven men was the one in Kings. And I'm going to go to Romans 11. That one is more adequate. All right, Romans 11, verse 3, I believe. Lord, I'm going to start uh, sorry, verse 1. I say then, had God cast away his people? God forbid. That's why the prophets are out, out there, man. We still, we still here. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, the tribe of Benjamin. God had not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Would he, would he not what the scriptures say of Elias? How he make it intercession to God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thy altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what say the, the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed to the knee to the image of Baal. He's dealing with Satan. So there's a complete number of men 
Doesn't matter what the hell we've been through in our life, in our situation right now, financially, whatever. It's been programmed in our spirit not to fucking sell out, not to bend over, not to intertwine with this bullshit, to stand up. Okay? So, so the water, Yahweh, Shimei, I was shy. Man, the water, Yahweh, Shimei, I was shy, and Lord willing to end. Double honest to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.